Bridging Canada's musical cultures connects digital library collections to allow users to explore diverse histories of music in Canada. To get a sense of why this is necessary, ask yourself, what comes to mind when you think of classical music? I expect it's the type of music that you've just heard in the room as you came in. But the term classical is not limited to Beethoven or newer music, such as Malcolm Forsyth's Atyoshkawin that you just listened to. Many cultures represented in Canada have classical music, long established traditions that represent music of an exemplary or classical, classic standard. Classical then also includes the music of Cantonese opera companies, such as this opera excerpt by Shi Chun Ma, based on an event that took place some 400 years ago. <laughs> It also includes music created for Balinese gong ensembles or gamelan, the serenge and modern Hindustani music, and Ukrainian bandura ensemble music. And it includes intercultural ensembles that perform arrangements of classical music, such as this performance of an 18th century Urdu piece. Examples may not be described as classical by the communities who perform them. And if we want to find out more about the multicultural classical traditions in Canada, we have to look in many places, search using many different terms, and will likely miss significant examples. Existing website sources are mostly dedicated to a single cultural community, South Asian music and culture, Ukrainian traditional folklore, fiddling in Northern Alberta, gospel music in Western Canada, and so on. With digital collections of cultural multi multimedia such as these, it is the metadata or descriptive tags attached to files that assist search engines in finding materials. But search engines do not think cross-culturally to link different terminology, nor do they connect the concepts intuitively. And these facts create a cultural issue for those who want to acknowledge and explore musical multiculturalism of which locating classical music is just one example. To overcome such limitations, this project sets out to connect Canada's multicultural communities in a way that honors their unique musical traditions while expanding our understanding of diversity across cultures. Our project is in two stages, enriching the descriptive tags in multiple collections and designing a user-friendly and freely available web portal for cross-cultural discovery. Imagine then a search on African Canadians in Nova Scotia returning the following multimedia materials. A recording of Canadian jazz pianist Joe Seeley's Africville Suite. A link to the 1968 National Film Board documentary The Road Taken, a film about African Canadians working for the CPR, of which Seeley's father is one of the characters and Joe Seeley himself performs original music. A digital copy of George Eliot Clark's opera text for Beatrice Chansey. Clark also has family connections to Africville, which is a neighborhood in the north end of Halifax. Or even Historica Canada's Heritage Minutes on the Underground Railroad that connects slavery in the US to Canadian history. Relevant music, film, literature, and history come together in this search to help teachers, students, and the general public experience conversations across different media and cultures. Reframing Canadian culture through this project will give all of us a more complete sound of the many voices within the Canadian musical landscape. And if we do this right, this will allow all of us to experience Canada's cultural history more inclusively and as a network of relationships re reflecting diversity, as well as the everyday realities of our musical experiences. Thank you.